Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Seasons. I'm Landros, and here it is. It's Sunday night. They've all actually gone to bed, and we're going to get up in just a few minutes, actually just a few hours, and send, of course, Jesse off to school to work, and the kids will go off to school. Elena's going to be here with Riley, and I believe Riley has... Uh, this is his last day as a baby, so he's going to age up. We could go ahead and throw him a birthday party if we wanted to. And then we can start working on his skills. And I'm kind of leaning towards that. Um, I don't do the birthday cake until I get the actual message. So once we get it, I'm thinking just to go ahead and do it. Because otherwise we're just waiting on him to age up until 8 o'clock. And we're losing all that time when we could get him ready and get him going. And then he might be even able to participate in some part of uh, the fall festival uh, before... Um, before the next season rolls around because he only has four days as a toddler so that's the plan and we'll try to see if it, go, if it all comes together anyway I'm gonna come back once they're all rested and up and ready to get going and then of course here's our never-ending supply of umbrellas which yeah I bought all those umbrellas and then didn't realize I had them already in our in our inventory from redeeming festival tickets so we got we got umbrellas for days anyway I'll be back in just a few minutes all right, Jesse's up first. I'm going to go ahead and let him get a shower, and uh, he can get something real quick to eat. We've got plenty of leftover food, so he can have a hot dog for breakfast. Um, today is not only Antonio's birthday, it's also Jesse's. So sometime tonight, actually, no, it's not. He's got one more day. I thought it was his day. That's fine. All right, Antonio, you, actually not Anto Riley. Um, it's Riley's birthday, and he has got, he's kind of hungry. Let's go ahead and have some cheese sticks for breakfast. We're just eating so healthy today. And I'm just going to eat whatever we got. Whatever they made, that's going to just have to do it. Now, Emily, you should be getting up. No, you've got a little bit of time left. And, of course, Elena's up now. So let's go ahead and let her take her shower, get cleaned up, and get the bathroom. Get all these things out of the way because she's going to be busy with the baby. All right, Jesse, are you ready? Okay, wow. He's all nice and dressed up. Um, you really don't have time to eat, buddy. You could just, well, I'm not going to force you. If you want to eat, you stop and eat. Okay? They can wait for you. See, I like this. His, he gets some pretty cool costumes, too. Just very standard, but I like them. But um, some of the careers, I'm not crazy about their costumes. Most of them I am. But, all right, you're sleep. Uh, you're showering. How long are you going to sleep, little girl? Well, you know, you really don't have to worry because, you know, the bus isn't coming anytime soon. Shoot all right, door. Antonio, when you're done, yeah. since you've got all your needs met, you go ahead and clean up. And I'm going to let you work on doing this right here because playing with blocks is going to really help your logic skill. And we should have been reading to you guys and reading skill books to you so we could level up other skills. But I didn't think about it. Um, I just got so busy with other things, I didn't worry about it. Elena, you're just going to ignore that phone? All right, I would too. It's probably nothing good anyway. All right. Jesse, they don't wait forever. Oh, man, you're going to be late for work. Yeah, you are definitely late for work. But as long as you get in the car before time, which you only have, like, one minute. It's Riley's birthday. All right, so now we can actually do this. Yeah, he's missing work. He better hurry because I don't want him to go down any further than he is. He's already at level 7. All right, let's go in here and let's get ourselves a birthday cake because, Riley, you're not going to make it to 8 o'clock. We're not going to deal with that. Um, it's outdoor food, I believe. Okay, so here we go. Birthday cake. And you got to be careful with these birthday cakes because they can actually catch fire. Um, it doesn't happen a lot, but it does happen. Um, who's playing? What is she doing? Is she finishing? Oh, she needs to come over here and eat. Get over here and eat some hot dogs. Okay. Now, I don't want them to start the birthday yet because once she does that... Then it's going to stop everybody else from what they're doing. All right, Elena, go ahead and clean this up. Oh, wait, did you not eat? You didn't eat? No, I don't want you to clean it up. I want you to eat it. Okay. I don't know why you didn't eat, but you didn't. It's kind of crazy. Now, she's probably going to be the only one in the house that has the birthday, unless uh, we can do it before the bus gets here, but I don't really want to interrupt Emily while she's eating. And they still have, what, 15 minutes? Yes, yeah, so they don't really have a whole lot of time. All right. Finish up your eating. Did you not want to eat? Oh, okay. I mean, it's excellent quality. You made it. And I guess she doesn't want to eat it. 
Alright. She's trying. Okay, the fall festival has made its way to town. Oh, that's fine. It's not my favorite festival, but we'll go anyway. Um, very good. So he's getting... Oh, no, it's not the logic skill. It's the handiness skill. I'm sorry. My mistake. Okay, you guys go on to school and do something good. Elena, we're going to go ahead and blow out the candles with Riley. So here we go. Riley Davis is having a birthday party. Come one and all. Well, there's only one, so that's the only one that's coming. Um, you could have put that away. I can do it for you, but I'll let you wait. All right, let's go ahead and grab Riley out of the crib. I like this crib. Yeah, I could have changed it up, and I thought about changing it, but I do like the crib. I thought about changing up all of their furniture and going with some of the stuff that came with Seasons, but, you know, it all kind of fits for this whole entire house, so I'm not really going to worry too much about it. Alright, he can't blow out the candle, so I think she's the one who has to blow it out for him. I think this is the first time I've actually done the, um, the birthday cake in any of my LPs, to be honest with you. Alright, looks like somebody got something. Okay, come on. Yeah, she had to blow it out. Jesse's hard work has really paid off to the tune of a permanent extra $25 raise per hour. Fantastic. Okay, the local triumph, uh, team triumph plus the game is free. Great, her school performance actually improved. Elena, come watch your child age up. Actually, if you're not going to do that, there we go. Go ahead and clean up. All right, look at Riley. Riley is now a toddler. Okay, let's take a good look at Riley. Look at the little cross-eyed baby. And they always turn out this way. It's hysterical. But yeah, he is as cross-eyed as can be. But he's got Jesse's hair. It's kind of cute. All right, so now how in the world are we going to tell these two boys apart? Uh, for right now, it's okay, but I don't know. We need to go ahead, and we're going to start with the messiest of them all. We're going to do the potty training. So go ahead, and you just line it up. Now, here's a tip. If you've got a Sim who has this um, surrounded by family lifetime wish, they will actually teach these kids faster. So that's the one you want doing all the teaching because for some reason they do it almost in half the time. That's why earlier Antonio actually leveled up quicker because I think he was working with Elena, if I'm not mistaken. Um, Elena, you just ate. You don't need to eat cake again. Put this cake away. I forgot. We don't need to eat the cake. We'll clean up after we're done. Don't worry about it. That cake will stay good for weeks. It's ridiculous how long that one's good. So if you're looking for food and you don't want it to go bad, buy some cake. All right, get this little boy. He is, he's going to be a handful. Now, did we get to choose his traits to begin with? I think we randomized it. We made him a, a brave and a genius, which is a good trait. It's a good um, combination. All right, so she should be able to do this much faster with him than Jesse would. It normally takes between four or five of these attempts to get this done. So go ahead, finish this up. Now, once you do it twice, then, of course, this thing is going to overflow. It's going to spill out and get really nasty. But I just go ahead and let him do it. Yeah, it makes a big mess. Then we just empty it all and clean it and do it all at one time. All right, we're going to speed you up because we've seen this, and I don't need to see it again. Alright, go ahead, Elena. Get him taken Aww. care of. See, she's getting it. It's going really, really quick. It's probably going to be done in the third third attempt. So definitely get your surrounded by family sim over here to do this. And let's see, is this going to be it? Very. Alright, there we go. Riley was just potty trained and just in time. Alright, how are you, how's your energy? You're good. He's kind of hungry. Let's go ahead and feed him first, and then you can go ahead and start cleaning up. Let's feed him on the floor, then you can mop up the puddle and empty this out. When you're done, how else is his energy? Everything else is good, so we might as well just get busy on teaching him to walk. So we're going to keep you busy today. You're going to need a. You're going to need some time off. Maybe Jesse can take care of the kids when he gets home, and you can head out and just have some time on your own. I think that'd be fair enough. Oh yeah. Now, it's Monday, so we should have gotten bills already. Let's see. Yeah, they're already here. 554. That's not too bad. My um, In my pet's family, they're almost like 3,000 for every bill. It's ridiculous. 
but we do have a nice house. So it's a trade-off. I looked, uh, oh, okay, what did we get? He has left work, he's made 1300 a day, and he got a promotion to squadron leader, uh, as well as a bonus of 2760. He's now making 255 per hour, works from seven to one. Now, does he have the same days off? I'm hoping he has the same days. He works Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So that's good, he's got four days off a week. You can't beat that. All right, buddy, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You made enough money. I'm trying to see if we've got any... No, we really don't have any room. We're going to send you out to go work out. But you know what? Since the basketball court will not be here for very long, I want you to go over here. And I'm going to go with you and get you set up in just a minute. Make sure that Elena is taken care of. All right, she's working on him to, to walk, I believe. No? You're going to go eat cake? No, I wanted you to teach him to walk. That was your whole job. Go in there and do that. Come on, Elena. Let's teach this guy to walk and let's get this done. Maybe it's because he walked in the door and he kind of interrupted us. I don't know. I'm going to assume that's what did it. All right, Jesse, you're already there. Man, you got there quick. All right, let's go ahead and let you get up here and play basketball. The reason I'm doing this now is because once it hits winter, you really can't do this. You can't see it all because of the snow. But right now, it's not too cold or anything. I think it's still decent weather. It's 65 degrees, so that would be perfect weather to go play basketball. Oh, I thought you were better than that. I guess we haven't been out here for a while, so that's why. We did not even go in the ocean at one time during the summer. And I don't know. Sometimes I think having the seasons for seven days is good. and some It's too long. Sometimes they think it's not long enough. I don't know. I'm just kind of debating on what my lifespan should be. I used to play the game and I had no aging on so I had plenty of time to do whatever I wanted to do but of course that was before season so you didn't have to worry and then I got used to playing with just the 90 day lifespan and so now I don't know I don't know where I should play I don't know what the the best span is going to be for us to for me to continue working on but you know it's been kind of nice with this one I haven't really felt rushed to get everything done uh, there's been times when I feel like we need to push it but it's not been too bad all right, you guys are good. Let's see, Emily, are you out of school already? Yeah, you are. And let's see, you want to go for a joy ride? Well, we can do that. Did you guys get any homework done? Oh, you're gonna do it right now. How about you, Antonio, get your homework done. Um, let's see, you want to clean dishes? We do need to do some of these things, but I gotta clear all your wishes out because none of those are gonna actually work. All right, you guys are taken care of. You're fine. I'll head back over and see Jesse for a little bit and see if anybody's coming out to this place, this little park. I think there was, yeah, there's a few people out. Uh, that's one of the Frios, Connor Frio, and I think uh, the land grabs are over there. I don't know who that is. Next time I actually start up a house or a family um, in Sunset Valley, I think what I'm going to do is turn all my supernaturals off unless I'm playing in Moonlight Falls. I just, even though it's okay, I just feel like they don't really fit. They don't belong. So... I think that's what I'll do on my next game. But of course, with all the LPs I'm doing right now, there's just too many. They're all they're all interspersed throughout, so I really can't do anything now. It's too late. All right. Now, this would be the perfect time if he was finished. Oh, he is finished. Antonio, come on over here. I bet all of his food has gone bad. Let's take a look. Oh, no, it's still perfect quality. Get over here. And your sister can come over here, too. Oh, no, she's playing. I'm going to let her play. But I'm going to let him come over. What's he going to do? He's going to work out? No, you're not going to work out. I told you just to come over here, but not to work out. I want you to come over here, and we're going to set... Please, people, don't leave. Don't leave us yet. We're going to put the... Um, what's my doodle out? The baker's, the baker's stand. We're going to place it right... Let's see, where is he at? I guess he's got to be over here. Okay, here he's here. Come on, buddy. Get down here and get this done. We had people here. We could have actually used you. All right, let's go ahead and do this. And let's go ahead and stock this thing. Oh, man. Of course, as soon as we get here, it's all bad quality. So you can't do anything. Sorry, buddy. Can't do it for you. It's not going to happen this time. You might as well go ahead and put this in your inventory and go on home. That's a darn shame. We tried. I wasn't even thinking. Not even a, not even a little bit. Wait a minute. Put it away, and then you can go. 
All right. Now, Elena, you're still teaching him to walk? Yeah. So she's doing good. He's still working out. Oh, we didn't have him. He should have been not breaking a sweat. Yeah, he's nasty. It doesn't really matter at this point. Um, we could have him push himself at this point. That way it's not really going to matter. He'll actually level up a lot faster. And then, Emily, let's go see what you're doing. You're playing on this playground, which we never come to. And it's cute. It just doesn't have a whole lot. It needs just a few extra things and maybe a set of swings or something, and then it would be, it would be okay. But while you're here, you know what you're going to do. You're going to pick some wildflowers. Uh-huh. Yeah, you go ahead and get down that pole and um, pick the wildflowers. And then you can come over here, since you're so close, and pick these. Let's make some money. We need a car. If not a car, we need a motorcycle. So, you know I want something. Okay, it looks like that's all the flowers we got. And yeah, we could get seeds, but I'm not really into the gardening thing yet. I don't think I have any, any of my sims doing the gardening skill. I don't know why. Normally I do, um, but I don't have anybody actually working on that. So when you finish that, you can go ahead and go on home. When you finish, you can go home. Antonio, you're at home. Let's see, what are you doing? Um, you're just looking out the window? Have you lost your mind? I don't know. Okay, she's still working with the boy, um, with Riley. Go ahead and come on over here and get something to eat. We might as well finish up all this food while we got it. Okay, looks like uh, Riley's about to finish. There he goes. He just learned how to walk, and the world just became a little bit bigger for this little toddler. Fantastic. Okay, now how's his needs? He's actually good, and she's, she's not too bad. Let's go ahead and get you to the bathroom, and then since you can do this so quickly... <laughs> I like the way he walks. Um, let's go ahead. Stop it. You know, I was complimenting you, and now you're going to actually drive me nuts. We'll go ahead and teach him to talk. We'll at least get him started. We may not finish, but that'll actually work out. Okay, when you're finished, Antonio, you're going to clean up. Why don't we put away the leftovers, and you can put away the cake as well. All right, Emily, you're kind of hungry too, so you can go ahead and eat. Let's finish up those hot dogs. I think they were done first, and I believe everybody did their homework. Yeah, everybody did homework. At least she did, and he did. Um, what are you doing? Oh, you're going to preside over royal court. No, you're going to go eat. And then you wanted to go on a joyride, so we'll let you do that. And then you want to go play in the treehouse, which I don't think you're going to have time. But we'll let you play for a little bit. Um, yeah, play over in there. Antonio, when you're done, you could go over and play in the treehouse if you want. Um, you want to talk to talk to Jesse? Well, if Jesse would get home, you could do that. Let's see, how much more do you got to do, Jesse? Let's see, you're getting so close to leveling up, and I want you to get a little bit higher skill. Oh, man. It's beautiful out here, though, tonight. It would be a, This is a perfect night. Okay, there we go. He's up to a level 9 of athletics, so not bad. You just have one more to go. And we really needed to have been working on your um, handiness skill, but we didn't. So when you get home, you can actually turn that on. I don't know how much more you got to go. I didn't even look at handiness. Oh, wait. Are you finished with your handiness skill? Maybe you are. Maybe you are. Let's take a look. Yeah, you've already maxed it out. Well, you know what? That's that's good. You have nothing else really to work on except athletic. you got to work on your boss, and you got to be in a good mood. Well, we can finish that. Mastering the athletic skill, definitely. Um, let's see. What's she working? How far is she up on her career? <laughs> Level 2. Well, but her career really is being... Uh, stay-at-home mom right now so you know she's actually done very well so oh no I don't want to go with you you're coming home she's actually on the joyride thing yeah, how long is that interaction I don't know how long it takes and he's in the treehouse yeah there you go it's cute I, it really is cute I'm glad that they introduced that in the game I think that's fun um, can you make him slide you can you can actually Oh, it's time for you to dump water on your sister. You should. Yeah, that's what you need to do. So, little girl, why don't you do this? Go ahead and stop doing that. Now, we could have had them going out looking for all of the um, the rocks and stuff. And if I look up in map view, uh, there's a few over here. There's nothing close to the house except right up here. Uh, we'll probably wait and do that a little bit later because that gives us something else to work on. But this is going to be their last um, their last season 
because I think they age up pretty much right at the beginning. No, actually they don't. I thought they aged up. No, they were born at the beginning of winter, but they didn't become children until actually almost spring. So yeah, they got winter to go through. <laughs> well, he got you back. He got you back. Go ahead and you play up there. Oh, no, you don't want to give it a name. You want to play. Can you get up there and play? Ask to come up in there. And, yeah, Jesse, you should, or Antonio, you need to let her play. All right, Jesse, you're taking a shower. You're not even in yours. You're going to go to the kids. Hopefully it's clean. Um, yeah, it looks like it is. Elena, you're working on him, but you actually are getting kind of hungry, but not too bad. And he's getting really close. So she may do this whole thing in one day. I, that's rare to do. And, I mean, you can do it, but it's hard. Oh, no, you can't do it. You know what? This little boy is exhausted. You've, you've worked him to death. Let's go ahead and let's snuggle with him a little bit. Make sure he's... He needs to go to the bathroom. Alright, so you put him down. Let him go to the bathroom. That way he can take care of his own needs. And then we'll get him into the potty chair. Alright, let him down. Yeah, he's exhausted. While he's doing that, you go ahead and eat some leftovers. Let's go ahead and have those hot dogs. Let's finish them up. And then, Jesse, when you get out, tell you what, I'm going to let you, are you almost done? Yeah, you're almost done. Look how long it's taking him to get over there. All right, I'm going to let him go ahead and eat something, something that's left over. Yeah, finish the hot dogs. All right, Emily, it's getting kind of late, so I'm going to let you go ahead and go on to bed. And Antonio, I'm going to let you go on to bed. Okay, and then Elena, you can, when you're done, put Riley in the crib. You don't have much left to do, and then you can clean up. Okay, did you know that Vita Alto is filthy rich? Well, yeah, we all kind of knew that. I mean, have you seen their house? All right. Yeah, the baby's exhausted. And we have not even gone out here, really. I think the kids came out here once. Now, one thing I think I told you before that I did, uh, when I had this house before, I took the sauna from Sunlit Tides. I had to move a door, I believe, and I put, or actually, I think it was the light I had to move, and I put the sauna out here. It's kind of cool, because I like, in some of my games, I like to play with the sauna and then just keep them young. I keep them young forever. Um, it's okay if you're, unless you're playing a generational family, then you really, you know, if you're playing a generational family, you kind of have to have them age up. All right, let's put the baby down because he is about to pass out on us. Yeah, he had less than an hour, and then it was going to be bad news. He's going to be hungry. We'll probably have to get up in the middle of the night to actually feed him, but we can do that. Elena, you're tired. You're giving me that signal, so I'm going to go ahead and send you to bed. Well, you were going to go anyway. Okay, did you guys clean up? Left the house pretty decent. Yeah, we've got this big nightmare over here. Now, we could actually take... Um, Oh, Emily, good. You're coming in. We could actually build onto this house, either go up or we could go down in the basement um, if we really needed to, if we decided to have even more children, which apparently we need to because we're supposed to have five. I don't know if they're going to have time to, ra to raise them all because they don't live that long, but we'll think about it. All right, I'm going to be back in just a couple of seconds when they all get up and are ready to continue on for the day. So I'll be back in just a second. Oh, wait, he's got another opportunity. Yeah, we can do that. Be back in just a minute. Okay, Elena's the only one up so far, so I'm going to see what she needs to do. She is actually, oh, you're not going to go make deep fried whatever. You're going to actually look, let me look at this. Let's go ahead and see. Riley, Riley, you're good. So tell you what, before we let, no, stop it. He wants to go play. I know he wants to play. We need to teach him how to talk. So let's finish up teaching him how to talk, and then we'll let him play in this chest, and he can have fun all he wants to. So, Elena, do what you got to do. Jesse's off today, so he doesn't really have to worry too much. All right, it's Jesse's birthday. I'm kind of depressed. I hate that because I don't want him to see him aging up, but it does have to happen. For this one, I will not get a birthday cake. I'm going to keep him young for as long as I can. We did get the warning uh, right before they went to bed about Spooky Day coming up, and it said starting tomorrow the kids can start visiting neighbors to trick-or-treat. So that's why we weren't able to do it earlier. So you have to wait until you're told that it's time. And it is now officially time. Jesse, what are you doing? Um, you're going to make a silly face with Antonio? All right, you guys might as well. I don't know how well your relationship is. Oh, yeah, you got a really good relationship with him. 
Unfortunately, I don't think your daughter... Oh, you and your daughter really need to get your relationship built up. Alright, so Jesse and Emily, you guys are going to have to have a father-daughter day. Because that is awful. Let's take a look. Okay, Antonio, you're happy with... You don't even like your sister. Poor Emily, I'm feeling horrible. Okay, and even mom... Emily, we have not done very well with you. So that is it. You are going to be... Oh, and she's stinky too. You're going to be our focus for a while. So let's go ahead and get you up. Let's get you cleaned up. And we're going to take care of all your needs. And you are going to be... We're going to pamper Emily because that is awful. Cannot believe we didn't do that. Okay, do we have any gifts to accept? I'm sure we don't. Um, Jesse, you can go over here and pay the bills. Because otherwise... We'll have somebody coming to get us. Oh, man. So she doesn't get to eat? Well, fortunately, she's not that hungry. But at least we got you cleaned up and you're not miserable. Let's see, what is this? Allergy haze? Oh, yeah, that's right. I got your flowers here. Let me stop you for a minute because I don't think you can sell once you leave the lot. All right, let's get all these out of the way. Yeah, I want to sell it. I mean, I'm telling you to do it. Of course I want to do it. All right, get these out of here. So far, there's been nothing real expensive. They've all been pretty cheap. Um... So yeah, nothing good. Okay, that one's worth a little bit more. Um, this one's good. It's 360. Let's see what about this one. This one's 540. All right, so anything else that's going to drive you nuts? No, you're good. All right, go ahead and go. Um, let's see, anybody else? No, nothing else. All right. Jesse, do you have anything to sell? No, you got a whole bunch of stuff. Well, you've got this bloodstone that you could actually get it cut. Um, go ahead and send it off. Might as well. We'll see what we get, and then we can take it over and we can smelt it. Or actually, rainbow sparkles. We didn't use all those. This tiny space rock. She needs to analyze those later. But I want her to finish out doing what she's got to do. Jesse, did the mail, did the mail lady, the post lady, give us anything? Uh, yeah, we got to go get the mail. I bet you this is his, um, no, he didn't master athletics, so it can't be that. Did you master anything besides handiness? I don't know when you did it. Let's see what we got. Okay, we received a shiny emerald cut bloodstone from the gem cutter. Well, we just sent it. All right, Riley just learned how to talk. All right, Elena just got mail from Hank. The note reads, I was thinking about you and thought you might like this. Call me? No. All right. Riley, let's go ahead and use the bathroom, buddy. And then I'm going to let you go play. Let's go play inside. Okay, yeah. You are... You want to play a game? Well, you know, you could do that. Elena, what are you doing? Why are you making ice cream? I really don't want you making ice cream. I really don't. I want you to go ahead and finish up the leftovers that we've got. Finish up the hot dogs. You know, I hope you haven't made a huge mess with this thing. Good, you haven't. I may have to get rid of that thing. And then you need to clean that away. Or clean that up. Okay. No, 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 no. You don't need that either. If you really are hungry, you can go ahead and eat cheese sticks that you made the other day. And then, poor little Riley. We ought to actually take the adults out. And Riley, we can get you a babysitter because, you know, we got plenty of money for that. Don't have enough money to really spend it on a car yet unfortunately. Uh, but where would I take these guys? I know where we're going. I know exactly where we're going. Okay, guys. Finish up your eating, and then we are going to go. I have put in the um, fresco, the, I think it's Alfresco Street Market, which came with um, Moon, or Monte Vista. And so we're going to go over here. We'll have to get a babysitter. Oh, poor Antonio. Something's up with you. Oh, he is hungry and smelly. Well, that's okay. You'll be all right. But I put this in. It came with um, Monte Vista, which I have yet to really even play. I think I've actually opened it up, and I've played in it for one sim day. Not even that. And I don't really know much about it. But I bought the venue that came with it. Oh, wait. Do we have, do we break this? No. I thought it was, it was steaming. All right. But anyway, I figured we'd go over here, and it's pretty nice. Um, do you want to go to Egypt? No. We haven't traveled with this family. We could travel. That might be fun to do. 
uh, before actually everything gets all crazy and the weather turns nasty, yeah, let's call a babysitter. But the thing is, we can't really travel until Riley gets up to being a child, but then by that time, if we're going to have any more kids, then uh, we need to start thinking about it. And I do want to think about maybe having the other two kids, and this time we definitely want to try for, uh, for twins. I would think, otherwise we're going to have um, kids aging up and the parents will be dead because they will not last all the way up until they get to be young adults. Alright, so here is the market and the market's pretty cool. It has all these um, these food carts out here and they have different kinds of vegetables you can get and some of them you can only get usually when you go traveling but now you can get like pomegranates and all that stuff here and one of the nice things is if you go over here and you open this one uh, let's go ahead and browse the stand. I think it's this one here, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe the one behind it. It has something that normally you have to try so hard to get. And when I saw it, I just my mouth dropped. I thought, you've got to be kidding me. Do you know how much work it takes for me to normally get this? But let me see if it's in this one. Come on. Are you just going to show us anything? I guess not. Maybe it's not browse. I thought it was browse. Yeah, you okay. I see it. Go ahead and see what we got. Let's purchase, then maybe see if that does it. Um, oh my gosh, is she stealing it? Look at her. Are you stealing the money too? <laughs> uh, Jesse, are you going to buy or are you just going to look? Who are you talking to? All right, yeah, let's see. Um, it's not in this one. But you can see that this one has some of the grapes that you would normally get in France. So let's go over here to this one and take a look. And then Elena, why don't, while you're here, why don't you go ahead and look at that one. Um, but yeah, it just amazes me that some of the stuff you can get here. But you have to check all the different ones. It's not like you can just go to one. Alright, come on, Jesse. Let's see what you got. Come on. What are we buying? Okay, there's lemons. This is it right here. You can buy live fruit straight from the the cart, and if you've ever tried to actually um, to create ambrosia and you have to wait until you get to be a level seven gardener and then grow the life plant and pick the life fruit, it takes forever. And here you can get it right off the cart. You don't even have to do anything. Same thing with the pomegranates. If you're going to travel to France or whatever, buy a bunch of pomegranates because you're going to get a quest eventually or an adventure that's going to actually ask you to get these and cherries you can only get normally when you go to China so this is great if you don't want to have to go through and do all the adventures and you don't want to have to do the traveling to buy these different things but each one has something a little different so you just kind of have to keep looking and come back through and see which ones you want but I think it's really pretty nice and also it's one that if you're out somewhere and you just want to buy some fruit to keep in your inventory you can do this and you don't have to worry about um, going and cooking anything because you can just do it from here. Uh, uh, why can't you purchase? Oh, she's in too bad a mood. Why are you in a bad mood? What happened? Um, she's grungy. She has to pee. Well, you can go over here and pee. There's a bathroom right there. I don't know why you are in such a bad mood. Um, go pee. Go over there and pee. Ah, oh, that's crazy. He's got a pee too. Um, I'm trying to get you to go pee. Then fine, you go figure out what you're going to do. You do it yourself. I mean, maybe I was sending her to the to the guys. I didn't think so. I was sending her right here, and that's the girls. But you can also cook right here, so you've got the um, a picnic area. So, pretty nice little area. And let's see, is there something else over here to do? There's nothing else actually to do, but you know, you do have all this food. You've got a lemonade stand, which I'm going to let them, let's see, who's hungry? Nobody? Oh, uh, looks like she peed herself. Man, well that stinks. Your hygiene is nasty. I swear, we need to go traveling, buy some shower in a can, and just keep it on us for these times when we do this, because this way we wouldn't have to go home and take a shower, which makes me sick that you have to do that. Now, there is an upstairs, and I want to go upstairs and take a look real quick. Okay, it doesn't look like there's much of anything except just a nice little area to walk up here and just walk around and then you come out here to this little area that doesn't really go anywhere. So it's just more decorative, it's not anything else. But if you want to roll everything up and see what it looks like, that's with all the walls and everything up. So it's very pretty. I do like it. I just think that um, 
if you if you don't want to do all the traveling but you want all the fruits and everything and all the vegetables you can do it here and I'm assuming you can actually um, I'm assuming you can plant I don't know all right you can tend to stand and make some money is she stealing I swear it looks like she's stealing is she taking stuff you look like you're taking stuff but you're not I'm assuming I don't know all right if we go home they're gonna actually end up uh oh and they're going to end up letting the babysitter go. So what we're going to do is we're going to stop for a minute. Let me find a place where I can take them where they can get a shower and get cleaned up. Let's see. There's not a shower or anything up here. There is one, I believe. I don't know if there's one here at this indoor pool or not. But I know there's one at the gym. And there's not one up here at the grind. So we could go there. That gets us too close to home. And they'd be tempted to go home. I guess I could take them to the gym and let them take a shower there. Uh... Jesse needs to actually level up a little bit. He's got plenty of energy. And Elena, she's got plenty of energy. So why don't we go ahead and do that. Let's take them over here to the gym. And that way they can both get cleaned up. Um, or at least she can, she can get cleaned up. He can do some working out. And she can actually swim if she wants to inside. I don't even know what the weather's like. As far as temperature, it's 44 degrees. So it's, it's not bad. Okay. We haven't used this. I don't really use the salon unless they get the wish for the tattoo and whatnot. And I don't think they've gotten any wishes like that. We haven't gone to any of these places up here. I don't use the elixir stand. I use it in Moonlight Falls, but I don't really use it here. Uh, sometimes I do if I'm playing a game and I just want them to, to do things like that. But it's not really my main, my main focus for this LP. All right. Love all the different colors. And I like how bright everything is. It's just such a difference. In, okay, I'm going to go back over here while they're going in. Um, in my one of my games I'm playing right now that I'm not filming, I'm living in this house right here, and I've just completely gutted the inside. It looks completely different on the inside, but the outside I kept it the same. But I did change up the yard a little bit too. But uh, it's actually a strange house. It's only a one bedroom, and it's so hard to um, to actually get it to actually increase it or act, make more to it, because otherwise you're going to just mess up the entire roof line, and I don't really like that. Um, he wants to go up here and use this thing. That's good. You can do that. Build up your chest. Oh, that's all right. All right. Now, Elena, what do you want to do? Mm. You know what? Maybe you, instead of swimming, you might want to come over here and get on the treadmill. And you can do that for a little while and just not break a sweat. I do like this gym. And I added a few things. I think I added one more... I don't know if I added one more or not. I think I was thinking about it, and maybe I didn't. I don't remember. But I did add these um, pull-up bars. They came with Showtime. So, to me, it just it just needed something extra. And the only other thing I added in here uh, was the diving board, I believe. Yeah, I put a diving board down here. Um, nothing else. I tried putting in the sauna over here, but then again, I thought, there's really no reason, because I'm not going to try to keep their age down. But... It would be fine. I'm tempted. I get tempted all the time because I don't like seeing them age up. But then, of course, you run the risk of, you know, their kids will actually age up before them. So I didn't want to do that. All right. We ought to have a party. In fact, why don't you guys go ahead and do that? Elena, you don't need to work out. Jesse, I know you're doing this, but let's go ahead and go home because the babysitter obviously is not doing anything. Poor little Riley is just... Look at him. He's passed out on the floor. That is sad. Where's the babysitter? Oh, the babysitter's over there. You, Garrett Jeffries. You know what? There's a cheat I could type in, and I could actually take care of you in a heartbeat. But you are a kid, so you know we gotta we gotta understand you're not that responsible. But that's nothing that a birthday cake won't take care of. Get over here and clean this. See, if I had a genie, I could control him and I could make him do it. That's the the best thing about having the genie. All right, so it looks like we got to come over here. we got to clean this up. Um, yeah, you're all done. You didn't do anything. Let's see. You're going to go ahead and put Riley in the crib, and I hope Riley's okay. I didn't even check his needs. He's kind of hungry, but he's more tired than anything else. So then what we're going to do is we're going to throw... Can we throw a party? If we throw a party, first of all, let's throw a... Um, not a gift giving. Let's throw a feast party. We can do that. Throw party. It's only 5 o'clock or 5.30. Don't clean. 
throw the party first and then you can clean. And if you throw a feast party, they'll bring all the food. We don't have to really do much preparation. All right. I don't know who we're going to invite, but we're going to do something. And I was going to take the kids trick-or-treating, but what I will do is we'll just go ahead. Jesse's old friend. Let's tell him what we want. We want a feast party. Oh, we can throw a funeral. I forgot about that. Um, let's just keep it. How about formal attire? Let's make everybody dress up. Um, let's see. Jesse's acquaintance. I don't know who she is. Christy Hayes. We do need to work on Aaron Kennedy, that relationship. And let's see. What else do we need to do? The Sakamoto's have invited us to parties time after time. Um, wow. We don't really know anybody. This is her distant friend. we got to take care of that. Elena, we need somebody else that you know. Um, Elena's a kid. No, that's the kid. So that's really not going to help us. So Christy, you're coming. Justine's coming. That's Antonio's. That's Emily's. Elena's acquaintance. We'll go ahead and invite her. Jesse's acquaintance. Okay. And then we might as well ask Dustin, I guess. Even though he's the babysitter, he's a kid. Or maybe Tori. Somebody that's older. No, that's not the babysitter. Dustin's not. All right, so we've done it. All right, so we got that taken care of. The feast party's going to start at 7. Columbia, Elena, you're going to go ahead and clean that. Yeah, there's nothing we're going to do. I'm not going to really worry about it. Jack's having a party, and we're having a party. Well, that's just too bad, Jack, because we didn't know it. And then the kids, Antonio and Emily, I hope you guys get your homework done, but we are going to get up here. Let's go into map view. Stop for a minute, because I don't want to lose all of our time. And I know there's somebody living here, and they're actually there. So let's go down the street, and we're going to go trick-or-treating at the Langer Langerax house. I don't know. Let's go ahead. Can you go over here and trick-or-treat? Go here with your brother. I guess maybe you have to wait till 6 o'clock. I don't know. It said we could do it. Or maybe I was reading it the wrong way. Maybe it means tomorrow we can start. It's only Tuesday. But I'm waiting till 6 o'clock to see if we can. All right, now it's 6 o'clock. No, nope, can't do it. Well, that really stinks. Okay, if I click on anything, you click on the house, it's all the same. All right, so you guys don't need to even bother. Don't even come over here. Go back home. And we'll go back here with the house and make sure that people are showing up for the party. Uh, Jesse, that's not good. What are you doing, Elena? Are you cooking? I wanted you to clean. Why don't you go ahead and clean this up? Okay, the first guest has arrived. It's time to start the party. Oh, she's a vampire? And then we got a fairy. Go ahead and change into your formal wear because everybody else, you made them dress up. You might as well, too. All right. Tell you what, why don't you go ahead and call everybody to... Let's see, let's call a group to the meal. No, let's call everyone to eat. Yeah, whatever. Okay, looks like everybody's showing up. We got werewolves, we got fairies, we've got vampires, and we've probably got a witch or two in here somewhere. All right. I like Antonio. Look at his little suit. He's in his little white suit. And, um, wow. Diedrich Markham. Buddy, if you're going to be a acrobat, you better... Oh, he's an elder. I'm sorry. I won't make fun of you because you're... You're probably doing the best you can, struggling to actually to be a really good acrobat. Um, late? Uh oh, oh, it's Jason. It's Jesse's birthday. All right, Jesse, go ahead and age up. You're having a birthday party at, after all, so that's good. Fantastic. I didn't even think that it. Didn't even remember that it was his birthday. And even though, oh man, the baby's crying. All right, Jesse. Okay, Jesse's now a fully mature, at least some of the time, um, adult. He'll need, he'll really need to think about establishing himself in his career and family life while there is still time. Uh, that makes me sad. All right. Midlife crisis. Oh man, he's got a midlife crisis. That's awful. I'm sorry, Jesse. I was hoping you would avoid it, but I guess not. All right, let's go over here and take care of the baby. I think he was about to. Yeah, he was going to take care of the baby. He's a good daddy. You going to feed him? Yeah, well, you keep screaming. 
Uh, well, whatever we're getting, whatever request we're going to get, we are not going to actually divorce um, Elena. We're not going to do any of that unless she starts slow dancing with strangers in the house. Uh, Elena? You see that man? You've had three children with him? He won't like this. Trust me. Um, that's your formal wear? Jack Bunch. I guess you just came straight from your party, and I bet your guests are real happy. All right. And Madeline, or is that Madison? Yeah, Madison Ben Watson, you're just having a good old time over there dancing. All right, let's go ahead and change this volume down. Oh, well, let's go ahead and get rid of it then. I don't want to deal with that. All right. So we've got all kinds of stuff out here. Is the baby's still crying? Why? He's fine. The baby's okay. He just needs to go to bed. Um, yeah, Jesse's going to take care of him again. The kids are okay. Everybody's doing fine. She's just in her own little world. I was going to actually work on her today. I was going to take care of her relationship, but I think I'll wait till the festival and just let I'll let that be the father-daughter day. So, or either maybe yeah, and then Saturday will be for mom and daughter. Okay, look at all these people all just sitting over here eating, having a good time, and um, our family's not even interacting with them. So you guys ought to at least get over here and sit down and talk to them. Go over here, let's sit down. Actually, why don't you grab a plate too? Because you're hungry and it's your party. Let's see, she's hungry too, she ought to grab a plate. Okay, kids, are you guys hungry? You might as well get something too. All right, not him. And then she can get a plate. Yeah, might as well because, you know, everybody else is going to eat and our family won't get anything. All right. Stop dancing with that idiot. Be growled at. All right, well, Jack Punch wants to growl at us. Where is he at? Oh, he's right there. All right. I turn the stereo off. You turn it back on. You guys just want to push my buttons, don't you? Um, where's Jesse at? Oh, he's over here eating. And Antonio, I saw you. Yeah, you're over here. So good. Everybody in my house is at least eating. I just, I didn't want them to leave without getting something. So, I love the feast party just because they all bring the food, and the food is actually pretty good normally, or at least it's decent. But we don't have to really worry about doing much setup. Oh, it's always at my parties. Yep. You know, if you're going to come to my party, could you at least not die <sighs> oh alright well it's not a party till something gets broke or somebody dies at least it's not any of my family and I didn't know who this guy we didn't invite Guadalupe Sumner he's a party crasher see what that gets you but you know what if you're gonna die you might as well not die alone so we're glad you came but you did kind of bring down the mood of the party and we didn't finish our meal. Actually, Jesse did. Emily didn't. That's sad. Alright, kids, you guys need to go ahead and go on to bed. I guess the music needs to go away because that just is a big downer right there. Oh, and it broke. Yep, it broke. So nobody's going to be able to, to fight me on that one. Alright, we're going to send the kids to bed because otherwise they're going to get up really, really, really late tomorrow. And let's see, Antonio, you got to go to bed because you got to get up early tomorrow, so we might as well go ahead and send you to bed. Um, Elena, you don't have to, so what I'm probably going to do is let you start cleaning up, and then I'm going to have you put away leftovers. Let's see, is this leftovers? Yeah. Let's just put up whatever we can put up. We'll save as much as we can save. Yeah, that's sad. Maybe these people will start leaving and going home. Yeah, go ahead and go home. Uh, who are you booing? <laughs> Grim Reaper, he's like, I've had enough. Are you gonna go to? Are you gonna go get in the bed with Jesse? Oh, you're gonna make the bed for? <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right. You sure know how to throw an awesome party. Wow, they all like the party. Um, can you go home, Hubert? Nobody really asked you to play. Elena, you could just ask them all to leave, and then that way we'd get rid of them. Yeah, it's a bad thing. They bring the food, but they don't clean up. She's doing the best she can. Look at her. 
And this woman just sitting here watching. Christy Hayes, you could have helped out. Yeah, you sure don't have to throw an awesome party. Yeah, ask the guy who died. Um, what a party. I'm all partied out. What a great party. Everybody likes it. Okay, I appreciate Sims who take it upon themselves. Let's get to know each other better, and then you die. Okay. Alright, you've got quite a bit. I don't know which ones you've got to clean up yet or not. So I'm going to go ahead and speed you up while you finish up. Let's see. Yeah, it's getting really late. Go ahead, finish this up. You got one more to go? No, you got more. It's just you didn't know what to do. Alright, let's go ahead and put that one away. Put that one away. And you can clean that one up. And that should be it. And then I can send you off to bed too. Actually, I need you to take the, go to the bathroom and then you're done. And there's a toy. If you do that, then we'll get this guy to leave the house. Or that girl who's playing darts. Like you don't have somewhere else to go. You don't have a home? You probably don't. Some of these sims, they are homeless. Um, Elena, go ahead and finish this up and then maybe we'll get them to leave. Speed you up a little bit. Otherwise, you'll be doing this all the way till tomorrow. Alright, your hosts have gone to bed. It's time for you guys to leave. I wonder how long they'll stay. Okay, at least she has sense. She's leaving. I think it's time to go. Yeah, I would think so too. Good, they're all leaving. Get off the lot, and then we'll see what happens to our party. Okay, our first and only feast party so far in uh, the season's LP. And did we get any kind of a message as to how the party was? Not really. Nothing at all. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and end the part here. And when we come back, of course, it'll be Wednesday morning. We'll still have school and work. Okay, Elena's party was awesome, verging on epic. Sims all around town will be talking about this one for years. I thought it was pretty good. Until the guy died. But that even, even that added to it. So anyway, when we come back, we'll actually... Oh, look who's going to have to clean this again. Um... We'll take them out, and we'll have probably more time with Elena and a little bit of stuff for the kids. I want to do some of the fall activities like raking the leaves and all that out here, even though we don't have a whole lot to rake. Well, we do. We've got more. Um, but we want to make sure we get all this done, and I definitely want to do trick-or-treating because I think for sure today we'll be able to go do it. So that's my goal. Next episode, trick-or-treating, <laughs> if I don't forget. All right. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.